Hey there, it's Anna from For Real. Have you ever been stuck with an iPhone locked to owner message on your iPad? Yeah, it's a real headache. You might be wondering how you got into this pickle in the first place. Maybe you bought a secondhand device or just forgot your credentials. It happens to the best of us. But enough about that. You want to know how to fix it. I know there are plenty of services online that promise to remove the iCloud activation lock, and some of them might even work. But why take the risk with your precious gadget and potentially pay a hefty fee? Well, guess what? I've got your back. In this video, I will show you multiple ways to bypass the activation lock on your iPad safely and soundly. And the best part, these tricks are free, quicker, and guaranteed to work. Plus, these will work for iPads, iPhones, and Apple Watches. So sit tight, grab your device, and let's get this show on the road. Just a heads up, we're sharing tips for folks who own their devices but can't recall their login details. We don't want to help anyone do anything naughty, like unlocking a device they shouldn't have. Let's keep it legal and respect everyone's rights, okay? Also, we're following YouTube's rules and community standards here. Getting locked out of your <clears throat> iPhone can be a frustrating experience, especially when the device is tied to a previous owner's iCloud account. Well, fret not. There's tech out there that can help you navigate this hiccup. We're talking about iCloud Unlock services. Now let me tell you a little story. Once upon a time, I got a hand-me-down iPhone from my cousin. She had utterly forgotten her iCloud info. And there I was with a phone about as useful as a paperweight. I only knew what to do once I came across iCloud Unlock services. These services saved me from throwing out an excellent iPhone, and they could be your knight in shining armor too. For example, Unlock Here's AI-powered unlocking web app is a game changer. It uses intelligent technology to bypass the iCloud activation lock. What's great is that it's user-friendly, quick, and super efficient. Following the same path, there's the iUnlock app. This one's designed to make the entire process as smooth as possible. It's pretty straightforward, and the idea is to get you back to using your iPhone as quickly as possible. Then we have Safe Unlocks. This service is known for its reliability and has been used by thousands of users worldwide. The best part about Safe Unlocks? It's all about the customer. Their service is top-notch, and they go out of their way to ensure that your device is unlocked and ready to use. Lastly, but certainly not least, there's Locked to Owner. This unlocking service specializes in solving the issue of iPhones locked to a previous owner's iCloud account. It has a good track record and is simple and hassle-free. A quick note though, keep in mind that unlocking an iCloud account should only be done for legal and legitimate reasons, like forgetting your login details or facing a similar situation as I did with my cousin's iPhone. Aren't you curious about how these services work, especially Unlockier's AI Unlocking Assistant? Well, stay tuned. While the iCloud Unlock services, Unlockier's AI-powered unlocking web app, iUnlock app, Safe Unlocks, and Locked to Owner are highly reliable, it's worth knowing that they primarily work in first world countries. If for some reason you can't access these services or prefer not to use them, don't worry, we've got another solution for you. We actually offer 250 unlocks every week to users who watch our videos. How do you get in on this? It's simple. All you need to do is just hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to our channel. You'll need to leave a comment under the video stating your phone model like Samsung S9, your IMEI, and your country. And that's it. It's pretty straightforward. Remember, the most important thing is to ensure that your comment includes all the required information. So get to it, and best of luck. All right, let's dive right into this. First, you need to pull up a browser on your device. It could be your phone or your computer, and type in unlockhere.com. This website is a handy AI-powered web app that will help you unlock any restrictions currently on your mobile device. Now meet Nifty. Want to unlock your iCloud? Then hit the Activation Lock option and Nifty will know what you're after. Let's say we're dealing with an iPhone today, so go ahead and select the iPhone option. But remember, it doesn't stop here. You can do the same with an iPad or Apple Watch. Next on the agenda, you need your IMEI or serial number. So what's the difference? Well, every iPhone has an IMEI. If you're unlocking an iPhone, you must go with the IMEI. Some iPads and Apple Watches also sport IMEIs if they come with a SIM card slot or cellular capacity. 
However, most iPads and Apple Watches that don't have these are issued a serial number. So you punch that in instead. Finding it is a breeze. Just hit the sleep button on your locked device, hit it again, and tap the eye symbol in the lower right corner. There you have it. All your device info right at your fingertips. And don't forget, it's crucial to input the device information into the next step. Moving on, you'll need to add some basic info to link the order to your account. Ensure it's accurate because you'll be emailed a confirmation code. You need this code to confirm your order, so don't lose it. Please quickly review the terms and conditions, agree to them, and ensure you're not attempting to unlock a stolen device. Squeeze in a quick CAPTCHA solution to prove you're not a bot and are good to go. Just tap Start Process, and you're off to the races. Hang on, go ahead and check your email now. You should have received an email with a confirmation code. Don't see it? Don't fret. Sometimes it sneaks into your spam or junk folder. Take that code and head back to the Unlock Here website. Enter the confirmation code and solve another CAPTCHA to prove you're still human. Your unlock process is fully underway. As you can see here, we swipe up to see the iPhone locked to owner page. In this part, it really takes time and patience. We wait for the unlock process to activate the phone. And as you can see, we swipe left and wait for a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Don't worry, it will be worth the wait. You will enjoy your phone once again once it's finally unlocked. So it may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Patience is the key here. And there it is. In this part, let's skip all the setup. Don't worry, you can go back to set it all up later. Make sure to check the terms and conditions and skip the rest of the steps and just do it all later on. Now, go to settings and create your own Apple ID. Tap forget password or don't have Apple ID to create a new one. And here, you can just add your personal details to continue. And here's a shortcut to check your device info, making sure that this is legit. And yeah, your device is now fully unlocked and ready to use. And there you have it, folks. Remember, this is just one way to unlock your device. There's a whole other method coming up, so stay tuned. All right, folks, we're about to explore some other legal routes you can take to remove that pesky iCloud activation lock from your iPad. Now, I've done my homework on this, read through countless articles and sifted through a minefield of information. And I can tell you it's challenging to find unique insights on this topic. So let's take a journey off the beaten path and look into lesser explored methods to help you. First and foremost, go ahead and tap into Apple's official channels. A quick call or visit to the Genius Bar at your local Apple store can sometimes work wonders. In many cases, they'll require proof of purchase to ensure the device isn't stolen, so keep that handy. Another popular web method is to send a direct message to Apple support on Twitter. Yes, you heard it right, Twitter. <gasps> Surprising, huh? We live in a digital era, so be patient and polite. They might help you. Remember, while we're discussing these options, the success rates can vary. While there are success stories, Apple is generally very strict about iCloud removal. But don't fret. We're all about exploring the unexplored today, right? Moving on, another option to consider is contacting the original owner of the device. They can remove the device from their Apple ID account if you can contact them. This way, you'll be able to bypass the activation lock. Remember folks, the internet is abundant with information, but it's also filled with misinformation. So that's it for today. Stay tuned for more. There's plenty more advice to share.